I thank you for the opportunity given to me to speak on the resolution moved by Sri Reddappa regarding railways. The railway minister is here and I wish to take this opportunity to appeal to you to sanction pending issues of Telangana state and of my constituency. Sir, as per section 93, schedule 13 of the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014, rapid rail connectivity projects were supposed to be started and completed by 2024, but none have been started as yet. As a follow-up of this provision, we had been repeatedly appealing for high-speed rail connectivity from Hyderabad to Vijaywada in Andhra Pradesh via Narket Pelli, Nakrekal, Surya Pet and Kodad. Already land has been acquired adjacent to National Heavy 65 and no land acquisition is required. We once again appeal to the railway minister to sanction a direct railway line from Hyderabad to Vijayawada via Suryapet and Kodad and provide high-speed rail connectivity. Sir, through you, I wish to appeal to the railway minister that there is a proposed railway line between Dornakal and Miryalaguda via Mudigonda, Nelakondapalli, Kodad, Huzur Nagar and Neer Charla. I wish to request the railway minister to consider early completion of the detailed project report and early commencement of, of work on this line. Sir, through you, I'd like to bring to the government's notice that this is a very high potential area, being the hub of cement manufacturing in India and also of rice milling in India. This railway line, when completed, I'm talking of the railway line from Dornakal to Miryalaguda via Mudigonda, Nelakondapalli, Kodad, Huzur Nagar and Neer Charla, will also give you a good return investment and the line itself will be economically and financially viable for the railways. Sir, so through you, I wish to appeal to the railway minister. A good strain is now running from Jagaipet in Andhra Pradesh to Melacharu to Mattampelli to Janpad and to Miryalaguda. Only a good strain runs on this route. We had been appealing to the railways for quite some time to also run passenger trains on that route. We were informed that the Commissioner of Railway Safety is not permitting passenger trains to be run on this route. Sir, through you, I appeal to the government, it would not take much for a railway line on which goods train is running to be converted to a line on which passenger trains can run. I wish to request for a passenger train to be run on this route from Jagaipe to Melacharu to Matampelli to Janpad to Miryalaguda and Hyderabad and request for a shuttle train from Melacharu to Hyderabad. Sir, through you, I wish to bring to the notice of the railway minister that Miryalaguda railway station in my parliamentary constituency, several trains, which high-speed trains which were stopping before the COVID, in the changes made post-COVID, the stops had been removed. I wish to appeal to you that all high-speed trains passing through Miryalaguda must stop at Miryalaguda. Also, sir, I wish to appeal to the railway ministry that under the modernization and beautification of railway stations under the other station scheme, please take up some uh, rural railway stations also. And I appeal to you to take up Miryalaguda and Nalgunda railway stations for modernization and beautification. Sir, Lastly, through you, I wish to appeal to the Railway Minister. In the Reorganization Act through which the Telangana State was created, a railway coach factory was assured at Kazipet. However, after nine years, this government does not talk about it. I wish to bring to the notice of the Ministry, the Railway Minister, that one day Bharat coach, coaches are being manufactured in a private company by the name Meda in Hyderabad and sent to RCF and ICF in Perambur, Perambur and Kapurthala. We wish to appeal to you that as per the assurance given by the, given in the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, you know, the same shell of the Vande Bharat coach, which is being manufactured in Hyderabad, the completion of the, of the coach, instead of sending it to Perambur or, or to Kapurthala, 
please get the completion work at least done in Kazipet in Telangana. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Honorable Member Sri Rao Sri.